Let me tell you guys a story. So, Mom and I went to Walmart a little while ago, I'd say a couple weeks ago, to get food because we were running low. And by this point, I'd heard of the Passport to Flavor thing Lays was doing. I thought, hey, maybe Walmart would have some bags of them because it's Walmart. You can get everything at Walmart these days, it seems. But we went to the chip aisle and they weren't there. So I'm like, okay, maybe Walmart doesn't sell them for some odd reason. Cut forward to September 1st. Technically September 1st. It was between 2 and 3 in the morning. We needed to go get TP. And we checked the chip aisle again. The flavors aren't there. I'm like, okay, it was worth checking again at least. So after we get everything, we head for aisle 12 because it's the only aisle that's open at this time. Because, again, two, between 2 and 3 in the morning. We walk by one of the other aisles and we see small bags of these things. And I'm like, okay. For some odd reason, I can understand why these aren't in the chips aisle. They never have the small chips in there. I'm like, okay. We get to, we're almost at aisle 12 at this point. Across from one of the magazine racks, I think, it was across from something, we see bigger bags of these things. I'm like, okay, why aren't these in the chips aisle? It's kind of silly to, you know, not have them there. Instead, you're just putting them by the checkout aisle. People aren't exactly thinking of get, picking up chips when they're by a checkout aisle. They're just thinking, let's get this checked out, let's go home, put all this away, be done with it. I don't know, I just find it a bit silly, but I thought I should open the video on this because the video is all about the passport to flavor stuff. And I've been wanting to do this for a while because I've never actually had a chance to try all four flavors of a Lay's thing. Like, I remember having the chicken and waffles flavor and I think I had the cheesy garlic bread flavor there. I don't know. Another time I had the bacon mac and cheese stuff, which was sitting in the car for too long, so it tasted nasty. And then another year I had the uh, Southern Biscuits and Gravy, which was pretty friggin' good. But now I have a chance to try all four of them. So, let's get to it. So, I am going in order of what I think I'll like to what I think I'll hate. And to start off, we're going with Brazilian Picanha. I thought it was supposed to be pronounced Picana because of the H-A, they're like piranha, but no, it's according to the ad I saw, it's supposed to be pronounced picanha. Now, it's supposed to be uh, steak and chimichurri sauce. I wonder what the back says. Picanha, the finest cut of Brazilian steak, is skewer grilled with coarse salt to lock in flavor. Mix in the bright flavors of chimichurri sauce, and you'll be saying, my favor, uh, let me point out right now that I have no, that I am not good at any other language besides English. I am pretty shitty at foreign languages actually. Seriously, I took Spanish and Spanish courses in high school and I took a German class in college. Hardly remember anything I've learned from either of those. I don't know if this will be any good, so let's see. regular Lay's. That's not a good sign. The hint is something else, but I mostly smell like- it smells like it's regular Lay's. I have no problem with regular Lay's, I love that. It's just... it smells a lot like it. Let's get a big old chip. Yeah, this will do. Mmm. This is my lunch, by the way. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Got a bit of a kick to it. Mm. One more chip for good measure. It's not bad. I, I actually like it. 
It does taste a bit like a normal Lay's chip, but it's got some kick to it. And it does taste a bit like steak, which I approve. I <laughs> See how so far this, I'm not disappointed. I do like this. But now it's time to move on to number two. Number two here is Tikka Masala. Indian Tikka Masala. Let's see what the back reads. Packed with flavorful spices like turmeric and cumin, the tomato-based dish Tikka Masala is a fixture in global cuisine. O open this flavor and bring some kushi to your day. It's tomato-based. Open it like this. So I'm okay with tomatoes for the most part. Except oddly enough, fresh cut tomatoes. For some reason, those taste nasty. Mm. Okay, that, um, what's that remind me of? This is gonna sound weird, but this reminds me of chicken ramen. Like, top ra top ramen kind of chicken ramen. That's what it smells like, and it's kind of worrying and weird at the same time. And a big old chip. Ooh. Let's go. Szechuan chicken gets its name. Why wait for delivery? We've got the tongue tingling sensation of mala right here. Okay, I'm not expecting this to taste like chicken. It's, it's like the, it's like with the picanha. It's, I smell regular lays in here. The hint of something else. Might be the spices. Get the old chip here. It honestly looks like a regular lace chip with a bit of spice in it, but let's see. Hmm. Either those two other chips killed my palate or I'm not getting a taste at all. Let me try a couple more. Get a rotten thing of the, these, these things or something, or is 
there's supposed to be brown stuff all over it. Like this. <clears throat> you guys see this? <sighs> I am worried. Oh, I get it. The brown stuff's what the, what's got all the flavor on it. And all the spice, apparently. Ugh. Yeah, the first chips I had hardly had any of the brown stuff on it. And I guess as a consequence, it wound up tasting really bland. You know, I've never had Szechuan chicken. But someone tells me I would like Szechuan chicken more than these chips. Without the brown coating on the chips, you get no flavor at all. The brown coating has both the flavor and the spice. And it's a shame because on the chips you can see the green and red flakes everywhere. I should have refilled this thing. Yeah, not a fan. It's two out of four. Let's see if this last one saves it. This is Greek tzatziki. When the Greeks mixed dill, garlic, and other unique spices to yogurt, tzatziki became a Mediterranean classic. There's no doubt this creamy flavor will have you saying, Opa! Okay. Oh! <clears throat> yep, I smell the dill in there. Definitely smell the dill. That's all I smell. Wait, maybe not. Okay, I smell the garlic in there too. This is gonna be iffy because I'm not too big on garlic. I'm okay with pickles. Oh, I got a big chip. Well, let's see if this chip ends up being about as good as the picanha one. That would be the AC starting up if you heard it. Ugh. Well, um, it tastes creamy, I'll give them that, but... Mm. Ugh. I don't know, it just tastes really funky to me, like... I can taste the dill, I can taste the garlic a bit, and I think, I don't know, if there's some other taste in there, I think it's the yogurt, but, I don't know, I just don't like how it tastes. Maybe it's cause, maybe it's cause I don't, I'm not, like I said, I'm not too big on, I'm okay with garlic, I'm okay with dill, but I don't like them enough to have them in a dip, I suppose, or, the thing looks like a dip. It's what make me, made me think it's a dip. I probably, I might be wrong. I should have done my research on these dishes before I did this. <clears throat> well, that was mostly disappointing. I suppose now I'm gonna rank these based on how I like them. So, number four, Szechuan chicken. Like, if you get a chip, if you happen to get one of the chips in there without the brown stuff all over it, it's just gonna taste bland. And if you do get one of the brown stuff, you're gonna get bombarded with spices. Like the back of your throat's gonna be burning. Number three, uh, hard to tell. 
I guess it'd be the tzatziki one because the taste just, I don't know. Personally, it was not that good at all. Like, it's better than being bland. It had a flavor, definitely. But maybe, maybe I'm just not a fan of dill and garlic put together. Number two, probably the tikka masala. Like, it tastes like ramen. It's weird for me to say that, but it honestly does taste like chicken ramen. And I like chicken ramen just fine. It's just, I expected this to taste a bit like tomato. And it, I think it did have a bit of a tomato-y taste, but this should not be telling me, hey, I, I taste like chicken ramen. So my process of elimination, I guess the flavor I would vote for would be Brazilian picanha. It has a meaty taste, it smells good, I honestly like it, but it's probably because, like I said, I love steak. Steak is delicious. Now, should I? I have a thought. I don't know if I should do this. I probably will, because I'm freaking curious about how this would taste. I'm going to try and see about eating a chip, each chi a chip from each bag all at once. So let's see. We got one chicken Szechuan chip, one tzatziki chip, one tikka masala chip, and one picante picante chip. How how I'm gonna fill four of these at one time? I don't know. But let's see. Oh. the tikka masala with a bit of the picanha, a bit of the tzatziki, and pretty much not, none of the chicken Szechuan. Ugh. Well, hopefully next year I'll be able to do this, because why not? I mentioned this before, I love watching people eat food and give their reaction to it. But I don't know if I'm ever gonna try four of those at once ever again because that was not a good combo. It honestly wasn't. Alright, well, that's about all the time I've got. The, the video's been running for about 26 minutes. I don't know how much space this thing has left. My nose is itchy. I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.